What is the greatest rule of the Torah? The number one rule in the Torah is we have to l'reiacha kamaicha. Zeh klal gadol means there's got to be a klal cotton. And what is the klal cotton? Kedoshim to you. What made the Rosh Hashiva Zatzal so unique was the fact that he was not only a tremendous, tremendous Tamid Chacham and a person with a heart that truly cared for every single person that he came across. Rabbi was a real Tamid Chacham, a real Gaon, a real Yid. Always looking to help people, always with a smile, always positive. But his smile, his love for every single Jew is something that I've never seen before in my life. I wish you all. Amen. 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 Rebbe cared about every single yid as if they were his own child. My Rebbe, Rebbe Aaron Wilkins Atal, had such a mastery over so much of the Torah. Our Rebbe's yidiot by Torah was so vast. There was no topic in Kol HaTorah Kula that was too big or too small. He knew everything. What a great Talmud Chacham. Our Rebbe was a tremendous Kharif, and his Kharifut would be appreciated in the greatest of yeshivot. My Rebbe, Rav Aaron Wilkins Atzal, was not a Kohen, but he was definitely an Aharon. He resembled the quality of Aharon a Kohen, who was Ohev Shalom Verodev Shalom. There's no soldier like the Jewish soldier. I may add because there's no heart like the Jewish heart. And there's nothing like Yisrael, Mikan, Yisrael, Goy, Echad. We are one nation, Baretz. He was always, always positive and happy to teach us. Anything he taught, Chumash, Gemara, Halachot, I just want to hear more of it and more of it and more of it to stay the whole week in Queens while his family was in Lakewood showed us what real, real Mr. Nefesh was. He taught me how to learn and most importantly, to love learning. And what Torah transforms a person to be an Adam Hashalim, an Adam, an Amensh, he wouldn't stop, he would continue and he would tell us, you got to continue, you have to be Marbitze Torah. My Rebbe, he had real Ahavat Israel. In front of the Torah, he used to cry. He used to cry on behalf of Klal Israel. He felt for others deeply, so much so that he would literally cry with you. He needs to not only think of himself, but he needs to think of the Klal and even the rest of the world goyim as well. That's what made Rebbe so unique and so different than the rest. How much we all changed ever since we met the Rav. And that's all thanks to our walk-in. Thank you, Rebbe. 
the way he taught me to look at the good of every single person will stay with me forever. And I can say he changed my life for the good. And this is the kind of person that we, we had this chutz to have in our lives. Somebody that just kept on giving to us and giving to us and giving to us. It's sad that, uh, that he left us too soon. I will definitely miss him. We should keep on carrying his name on and uh, making him proud. He is one that will forever be with me. I love you, Rebbe. We miss you. And we long to see you, Bezat Hashem, soon, when Mashiach comes.